why I'm at the workshop is because I want to learn about issues with relating to cross-cultural uh, collaboration uh, and that is different kinds of cultures so it's not different countries as cultures different companies even have different cultures inbuilt so uh, there are issues and as technological change is ramping up exponentially and uh, in order to cope with that technological change we're going to need to collaborate more and more but bring what that brings with it is uh, a number of, of, of common issues that resonate across uh, the, these different cultures that I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, uh, there seems to be some common themes is, uh, in this uh, workshop as I'm going through it and talking to my colleagues here, um, and these common themes uh, are resonating no matter what country they're from, no matter what company they're from, uh, it, it's some common attitudes and, and issues that we're going to need to, to solve. And it's not really the technologies, per se, that's causing it. It's actually the pesky people that get in the way, <laughs> mostly. Those issues rely, rely around the people. Well, doing my, I'm on a KTP associate at the minute. Um, and you obviously get a training budget, which you can use to do various things with. And I've obviously wanted to do um, one or two different conferences to network, really, because... My next step, what I want to do when I finish my KTP in six months or so, I'd like to do some kind of, similar to this, this workshop actually, I'd like to get out and about into the world and maybe do some placements in different service design companies. Um, and I'm really interested in cultural clashes, cultural differences within design situations. Um, when I did my MDI course, uh, you had a, a lot of different cultures. And I found it really interesting watching how somebody from Sunderland got on with somebody from Romania and how the person from Romania was trying to make a perfectly acceptable point, but they made it in a way that somebody from Sunderland might find offensive. I have a, a design education interest in this, We um, about how design teams work and learn together. So um, I recognise that we recognise that Designers have to work in teams increasingly, and this is a reality. Um, but we don't. The mod educational model is very much focused on the individualistic um, skills and, and competencies. So, is how do we explicitly develop and help our students work and learn better in a, in a group, in a team situation? I joined the workshop because uh, I'm uh, going to do a project work on uh, cross disciplinary. Um, product development and how uh, different disciplinaries uh, generate new products and how we can learn from each other. Well, it seems that when, uh, when we have to collaborate, all researchers have certain common problems and from my point of view that's mostly the communication issues. Uh, discipline-wise, cultural-wise, and, and all those topics. And basically, in my personal opinion, uh, the technology right now is not able to help us in a way that we can overcome those uh, communication difficulties. I actually have to admit, uh, for this project work, um, nothing. But um, for, uh, for the project with other countries maybe or partners from other countries or partners uh, from other disciplines it's uh, um, I got out that it's really important uh, to um, get the social aspect as well as the technology aspect and the knowledge aspect. People have different priorities uh, considering this communication thing uh, some people think that the social aspect is the first thing that you should be uh, finding solu solutions to and some other people think that developing technologies is more important so is psychology more important than technology and, and, and to find uh, the same area in which we can solve these problems. Right now like exploring the challenges of uh, cross-cultural uh, collaboration and we were pointing out uh, that uh, time and uh, difference in culture have been like the most uh, challenging aspects of cross-cultural collaboration or, or collaboration in between different countries. 
so far I got out of the workshop that uh, I'm not alone in struggling with this problem, that I'm not alone in understanding that it's going to be an exponentially increasing problem, and, uh, uh, but uh, heartening uh, is the fact that I am not alone <laughs> in this, that the uh, cooperation and collaboration uh, among my colleagues around the world at various companies and uh, academic institutions around the world uh, will try to strive for generating a next generation of, of designers and design engineers that will try to cope as best they can with this increasing complexity.